Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. And we get questions from customers all the time and they want to know how they can get a 12 volt outlet closer to the back of their vehicle where it's a little bit more useful for them. Well, there are several ways that you can do it. You can run a 12 volt outlet kit, different things like that, but that generally requires you to modify or add something to your vehicle. In our case, as long as you've got a working seven pole, we can use this adapter to provide a 12 volt outlet plug-in. It's a really quick and easy way. You can see this is just gonna slide in like any normal seven pole would. Get it in until it stops. And that's it, we're ready to plug in any of our 12 volt accessories. This is gonna be really handy for tailgating, picnics, camping, or in emergency situations. Like here we've got a boat trailer hooked up. If one of our tires goes down or needs air and we can't make it to an air compressor somewhere, if we had an air compressor in our truck, we could easily plug it in here and that's gonna give us the range that we need. As compared to plugging this in in the front of the truck, probably wouldn't be able to reach to that back side. So all in all, it's gonna be a really quick and simple way to do this with no modifications necessary whatsoever. If you take a look at the end of the adapter, it's only using two points of contact. We've got our ground right here and our power right there. So even though we don't have all those contacts, we always recommend a little dielectric grease just to keep moisture and dirt off of these, which can cause corrosion. But outside of that, our customers really enjoy having this. There's several situations it's been used in. There's a lot I could think of. If you're tailgating, think about like coolers and refrigerators. You could plug that into here and have power. If you were out camping, you want to charge something up or you want to run a cord that's go over to your, uh, your tent or something so you can run a fan inside, this would help you out in that situation. The emergency we've kind of already talked about with the air compressor. But this can also be used with an inverter. If you have a laptop or a tablet that has to plug into the wall to charge, you can plug an inverter into there and then have a 110 or a household style plug available. Now you never want to overload a circuit, like on our, uh, our power circuit that comes out, a lot of times people are going to use those to run a trailer jack up and down. You really don't want to exceed whatever your vehicle's capable of, and if it does have live power already, it's going to be fused. So if you do overload it, it's going to blow that fuse. You'll simply have to replace it and reduce the number of items you're trying to use or the wattage of the item that you're trying to run with the plug. Now if for some reason your power circuit, which is going to be at the one o'clock position, there's seven little tabs in there, it's going to be that one o'clock. If for some reason it doesn't have power to it, there are several workarounds for that and in most cases it's already going to be built into your vehicle. Like on Chevy trucks similar to this, there's a wire you have to hook to your power supply. Once that wire is hooked up, it sends the power through, it just prevents it from shorting. In some instances you might have to add a fuse, you might have to add a relay to your power supply. And in the, the worst case scenario, if none of that was available, you can simply cut the wire from the back side of that one o'clock position and add your own 12 gauge wire to it. You're gonna use a couple heat shrink butt connectors. Just run it up the frame of your vehicle to the front. We've got breakers that are available. A 48 bre 40 amp breaker would be ideal for this situation. Just run that wire into one side of the breaker. The other side will go out to your battery and it'll give you constant power. Now, some vehicles will also only have power to that when your key is in the on position. That's another workaround for that. We can run our own wire, get our power from our battery, and we won't have to worry about which position the key's in. So it can be a really nice and easy way to get power back here. One thing I hate is if we're out listening to music, sitting on the tailgate, I'm charging my phone, is having to go back into the cab of the truck to do something on my phone or respond to a message and then walk back. Having it back here plugged in and charging would be pretty ideal. Now here's a good look at one of the many situations we could use that outlet. You see we've got a portable compressor but it's only got about a 10 foot lead on it. If we had to run that up and inside of the vehicle, we really wouldn't be able to plug it in. So in this situation we're able to quickly power it. It's going to give our compressor the power it needs. You can see we can easily get back here for service. I think another big benefit to having that plug on the back of the vehicle rather than using one of the, volt, the 12 volt power plugs inside of your vehicle is that if it's going to be a longer term thing like you're running a refrigerator while tailgating in the back of the truck or something like that, you don't have to run your power cord through your window and leave it cracked or you don't have to slam it in the door and hope it doesn't get damaged.
When looking over the adapter, it looks really nice and solid. It's really well put together. The moldings all line up really well. It's not like some of them where you'll have a gap, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch between where the two pieces come together. Overall, this would be definitely one that I would own. Um, there is another option, part number 118019. The exact same style of plug and the exact same quality. I feel like both of these are right in line quality-wise. But that one's going to offer two 12-volt outlets. So rather than just charging your phone, maybe you can charge your phone and your speaker. Rather, rather than just running a refrigerator, maybe you can do that and charge your phone. So I think if I had to pick between the two, I would go with 118019. I like having the two, why not? One two is better than one. But outside of that, there's no reason in the world why this isn't gonna do an excellent job for you.